Hi everyone, this is Michael, though you may know me from Reddit or other places as Scourgicus, and this is an Elder Scrolls Primer. Today we're going to finish up our discussion of races and cultures by talking about the Beast Peoples, and man have I been waiting for this one. I really like the Beast Peoples. There are three races or cultures uh, of the Beast Folk that you can play in the games. The first is the Argonians. And these are the people of Black Marsh, a swampy region to the southeast in Tamriel. And they are humanoid lizard people. Uh, they go through some changes. Uh, in the first game, Arena, they look pretty humanoid. But by the time you get to Skyrim, they look a lot like Velociraptors. And they slightly terrify me. Uh, they're really neat because they live in a symbiotic relationship with a race of sentient trees called the Hist. They're pretty cool. Second is the orcs. Now, the orcs are the only race we're talking about in this series that don't have their own province. Uh, they were originally not a playable race either. Uh, they, they were not playable until the game Morrowind. And uh, they are from, uh, centrally, an area called Orsinium, which is a, a city. Uh, the name Orsinium means orc town. Uh, and that is in the Rothgarian Mountains, which is uh, a mountain chain that runs between Hammerfell and Cyrodiil. Now, interestingly, as in Tolkien, uh, the orcs were originally elves, but they were altered by the Daedra. That's an interesting story. You should look that one up. Finally, and man have I been waiting for it, are the Khajiit. And uh, this is my favorite race to play. These are the humanoid cat people of Elsewhere, a province to the south in Tamriel. Uh, now, the, uh, the Khajiit are especially known for moon sugar, which is believed to be a narcotic substance uh, that is harvested in Elsewhere. It can be alchemically altered to form something called skooma, uh, which is a very powerful drug and is highly addictive. Moon sugar, by the way, is the crystallized light of the moons, according to the Khajiit. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that there were, in fact, other beast folk uh, throughout Nern. Not all of them uh, have appeared in the games, and almost none of them are playable as races. Uh, you can find mods uh, that some of the fans have made where you can play them, but not within the actual games themselves. Uh, first would be the Slodes, who are a slug-like people, who are especially known for their interest in necromancy, or raising of the dead. Uh, second is the Sayesi, and uh, some of you may pronounce that differently. These are the vampiric snake folk of Akavir that I mentioned in the uh, episode on humans. And uh, lastly, uh, and we do get to see them in Elder Scrolls Online, is the Imga. These are the ape folk of Valenwood. They're pretty interesting because they really look up to the Altmer, or High Elves, and give themselves uh, royal names. So it would not be impossible to run into an Imga named Duke Gugragoop. Yeah, they're pretty cool. All right. Well, that is all I have for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this as much as I have. Uh, we'll be back next time when we talk about the Aedra and Daedra. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And this has been an Elder Scrolls Primer. Thank you so very much for watching.